Hello and welcome back. Today I have a very special video. A lot of people have requested if I could show off my entire retro gaming collection. It's going to be a bit hard because some of the boxes are put away underneath the bed and stuff. But I can do my best and show off maybe 80% of my entire retro gaming collection. So sit back, grab your favorite snacks and enjoy the show because I have quite a few interesting stuff to show you. Right, we're going to start with my gaming console. So up here we've got two Nintendo 64s, the American one which is modified to play Japanese games, and my old faithful PAL N64. We have a Super Famicom resting on top of a GameCube, the American Super Nintendo, which you can see here, I'm just very short, and my PC Engine called Duo, or 2 Duo. We have an Xbox Crystal Edition, a Sega Saturn MK2, and in that box we have a very special GameCube that's modified. We have a Mega Drive, a normal Super Nintendo, and this special machine is the Amiga CD32. Here we have oof, a Twin Shop Famicom, another Mega Drive, that one is probably 32 years old. Here we have the Mega CD, or in the Tower of Power, the 32X. Here we have a Famicom, NES. Dreamcast, PlayStation, Atari, a Wii U pad, and the Game Gear. And down here we got some special stuff. We have a PlayStation 3, a Wii U. Here we also have a PlayStation 4 sticking out, a Master System on its head, a PlayStation 2, and a Master System MK2 that's been modified for streaming. I will show you right away. There you go. This one is modified for RGB Scott. And here's the Game Gear. We have actually way more consoles. We have a Nintendo Switch. I actually have two Nintendo Switches because it's a very hardcore use system. We have a PlayStation 5. We have a cat bed where my cat normally sleeps. And here we have another Sega Dreamcast. And we have another Sega Dreamcast. I'm going to bring out some goodies. So... This is my entire cartridge collection of games. We have Fami uh, Famicom games, Super Nintendo games, N64 games, a misplaced Game Boy game. <laughs> I mean, just to show you real quick. I have all kinds of different games. These are games from my childhood. So it's N64. A lot of them are both American and uh, PAL. So I use these games also for my comparison videos. Like here you got Bomberman. Here you have... Shadowrun, I think it is. Final Fight. I wasn't really that impressed with Final Fight. So that is one container. And I'm protecting this from the cats and dust and stuff. So I don't always go for complete and box games actually. If the price is right, I'll buy the game loose. What do we have here? We have a treasure and a gold mine of both Atari games, a Game Boy Advance games, and some Genesis games. Like this one should be in here and even Game Boy Color games. Let's take a look. Onimusha Tactics is NTSC because Game Boy Advance is not region locked. He is one of my pride and joy, Metroid Fusion. When it came out, I paid about $50 for it, and now it's worth a lot of money. Sonic Advance 3, yes, I do love the Advance games, don't judge me. This game I bought in CX for, what was it, 72 pounds or something? The Legend of Zelda, the Minish Camp, phenomenal game. We have some Fire Emblem, we have some other goodies, we got some handhelds here. Here we have more Fire Emblem. I even have Metroid Zero Mission in this box. I'm just not sure where it went. The Zero Mission is probably... Oh, we also have Oracle of Seasons. I mean, we are huge Zelda fans in this household. And there you go, Metroid Zero Mission at the bottom for protection. Some of the games are loose, but only the boxes are in here because they've been all put in that little hamper over there. 
This is an EverDrive for the Master System. Yes, I do use EverDrives for ROMs and so on because sometimes if I want to buy a game, I want to make sure I actually like the game before I invest money into it. Because nothing is more boring than buying a, a rare game and the game turns out to be very boring because I'm the type of collector who plays games because they should be played, not to put them in the frame for the rest of their lives. That now there's, there's an upscaler I use for the TV. I don't use my retro thing for my TV actually because I don't really care as long as I can play the game. Let's go to the Mega Drive Genesis shelf. So we have a bunch of Mega Drive games. Whew. We have some Atari complete in box games and some Japanese games. We have the Master System. Here we have. Now that game is sticking out because I have no space. We have more games. We got some 32X games. So Calibri was a present. And this is a brand. Well, this is by Tech Toy. It is the original game. And that it's not it's not a cheap game. We also have the remake of not remake, the re-release of Monkey Island. Behind here we have some Fun the Force games, which is really cool. Yeah, and there's even Barbie, yay. And up here we also have some Game Gear games, which sadly I can't reach. So here we have a Commodore 64 and NES cover. So behind here I have all the complete and box NES games. And we have all the cartridges. So it's, it's like two layers. Because I live in a very tiny apartment. I have to be a bit mindful of my space. So here we got some very cool PlayStation games. Kanoa, Doom, Rayman, Spyro 2. And we also have some very rare games in the back. You can see Tombi, Tombi 2, and there's some space. So just to give a shout out to a few games, here we have the Dreamcast shelf and the third and the Mega CD shelf. And here we have some brand new releases for the Sega Dreamcast, like Tapeworm Deluxe, etc. Another one is the House of the Dead. That's actually an American one. That's not a re-release. So here I have my collection of Wave Game Studios of games they've released, which is really cool. Morthorn has is made by Crazy Goop Trio, another amazing company that makes games. We got some Mega CD games. And yeah, some people are gonna ask me, do you have Shining Force CD? I do. But where is it? I don't know. <laughs> It's somewhere in the pile. Maybe it's at the Saturn pile. So here comes the Sega Saturn collection. So as you can see, it's two layers. Ooh, so here we have Clockwork Knight 1 and 2. I also have The Horde, English. Shining Wisdom. I do have Shining Force 3. I also have, um, uh, let's see, The Guardian Legend. And you can probably notice I have a very rare game, Panzer Dragoon Saga, and we got the first and second one. And now you're probably wondering why is an Xbox game your collection? Well, because this is the sequel to Panzer Dragoon Saga, it's Panzer Dragoon Ultra. Here we have some Hue card games for the PC Engine, we have more games, including Sega uh, Classics. Here's Shining Force CD. Da 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 da! You don't want to know how much I paid for that. We got some Japanese Sega Saturn games. I got some very cool schmups. So there's layers of games. Again, it's two layers cause of space. Now look here. This is Nintendo GameCube. This is also two layers, meaning I have both NTSC games and PAL games. And I use the freeloader to play NTSC games on my Nintendo GameCube, which does also work for the original or the first release of the Wii if you haven't patched it. Here we got some MISC, we got some Switch, PlayStation 5, more GameCube games. This beautiful thing, Super R-Type for the SNES, which I haven't opened yet. And we also have more complete and box games. This again is for the Commodore 64, pretty cool. 
Whoa! Oh no! My NAS has been on the whole night. Well, here we have the NAS and the Mega Drive. That's my streaming setup. We're gonna walk into Retro Heaven. So, here are my complete and box Super Nintendo games and N64 games, sadly behind three layers because we're trying to sell this apartment and it's taking a long time because of the financial crisis. Here's Kirby Avalanche, what's way cheaper than the PAL version. This one I paid like $20 for, Pokemon Snap. It's complete in box, the whole game. This was a present given to me, Mario Party, really nice. I love Mario Party and I got some Japanese N64 games as well. Here you have Kirby, that game is really cool. This is something I really love. The Japanese version of Ocarina of Time, it actually does have American English on it if you use a Game Shark. Oh. Now, you probably noticed I got some very rare games like Chrono Trigger, I also got Castlevania, Super Castlevania, I got Breath of Fire 2. So a lot of these games I had collected over the time span of four years. But the original games you saw, like the Mega Drive games and so on, they came from my childhood. I saved each and one of them. Some have been replaced. Here's another copy of Panzer Dragoon Saga. Sadly, this one's broken. The shop who was supposed to resurface this too broke the games. So they gave me all the money back and I... Thank you to AF Retro. I bought his copy instead. So look here. All these nice gaming goodies. Anything you see that you like? So I'm going to be taking this copy of Chrono Trigger out. Oops, wrong, wrong game. This one out because I'm going to do a special unboxing on my Ko-Fi. If you're, if you're a gold tier member, you can request which game I should unbox. And Chrono Trigger has been requested. This one cost me $450. It's mint. Or near mint, I guess. It's very well protected. I had I did stream it live on Twitch. Oh yeah, I got a bunch of crazy games here. So here you see an Amiga 500, some more consoles, another PlayStation 4. Here's an Amstrad console down there, a power supply. At the bottom here you also see the Commodore 64. It's been packed down. So the cats, like this little monster here, won't damage it. Sorry to say I can't show you the rest of my collection because it's beneath the bed. I hope you found this video really interesting. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. I'll catch you next time. Bye!